Welcome to Tent Talk, the podcast with Nancy McCready, where we talk about life under the big tent of God's presence and the provoking process of discipleship. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Tent Talk. This is Nancy McCready. Who sets your clock and who fills your calendar? We want to be careful that we don't start taking a census and get ourselves into trouble by being overly impressed with how busy we are and how much we are doing. So take a listen today. I hope it really encourages you to let the Father bring a fresh supply to you for all that you're doing. Let Him set your clock and fill your calendar. Love you all. Clocks and calendars, keeping time, counting days. This is when God had to really speak to me about the word census. Maybe you remember this in the scripture. It says that when David began to count and take a census, it was like Satan had entered him. And God has had to really deal with me over the years uh, about keeping an account of how long I've been working without a day off. Oh, how many meetings I've done in one day, back to back all day. Uh, how many sessions I've done when traveling and speaking. And, and what starts to happen in a very subtle way is we start keeping an account, a census of how long we've worked without a day off and how much we've been putting up with and how hard we've been working. So this is why I'm saying to you, we look at our clocks and our calendars, we start keeping a census, we start adding up how much we've had to do. And this is how my father uh, speaks to me when I start getting a little overly impressed with how hard I'm working. And he even deals with me about posting it and making a big ado about it. And I have to uh, really take note of when he starts talking to me like this, because he kind of starts talking to me in my own language. And so if I say, wow, I just did 10 back-to-back sessions in one day. I've been working all day, and now I've got to do this and that. And I start looking at my calendar and how full it is and, you know, how I'm running on the clock and, you know, all of this. And I'll be like, wow, look how long I've gone, you know, without a day off. And then the, the father will say to me, well, what's the problem? Why don't you just take a day off? <laughs> I love the way he deals with me as with the son. He said, what are you doing, Nancy? If ever you have heard the voice of the father come to you like this, it is so powerful. It's like when he came to Adam in the garden. What's going on, Adam? What's happened? Who told you you were naked? (laughs) When God starts asking you questions or when he begins to lovingly speak to you these words, is why are you making such a big deal out of how long you've gone without a vacation? Uh, Take a vacation. Uh, Mark off a day on your calendar. Uh, Mark off those first three hours in the morning. Uh, Don't set that appointment. Give yourself a breather. And yet, what will we say sometimes? Oh, no, I've got so much to do, and if I don't get this done, and I don't meet this deadline, and the clocks and the calendars are ticking away, right? And we are keeping a census. We are counting things that we don't have any business counting. For more information on Nancy, please visit nancymccrady.com or follow her on social media at nbmccrady. If I am, quote, busy, well, if I am busy about my father's business, then draw from him within. He sets the pace. He modifies the cadence. Uh, He sets uh, my conversations. He tells me when to come and when to go. Uh, I yield my calendar to him. My clock is his. He makes time. I take time. So all of this, oftentimes we don't realize the subtlety of how we're being drawn in to be thinking about all that I'm doing. Well, if you think you're doing too much, then stop it. I will talk to you like he talks to me. 
And I will pass on to you this wisdom. As you be careful, my friends, this is a warning. Stop keeping an account of how busy you are, how back-to-back you are, uh, how many people are calling you, how many invitations you have, uh, how much you know, you've know you got to do. And Because if you're not careful, you'll start actually thinking how important you are. You know, just being busy doesn't mean you're being productive. Abiding is what brings producing. And does the Father uh, get to set your calendar and your clock? And if He does, then you're going to have all the grace and energy you need if you learn how to live in His pace. Whether it is days of seeming, uh, you know, great busyness or days of great leisure. He sets the pace. Be careful, my friends, to not start keeping an account and a census of how busy you are. Let's be about the work uh, that our Father has given us. And as we learn to work from rest, He's supplying all the energy, so what's the big deal? He's supplying all the wisdom to solve those problems, to be a troubleshooter, to be a consultant, uh, to be a mother, to be a father, to be uh, a leader, a producer. He's providing it all, so let's lean into Him and let Him bring a fresh supply. Whether you're in leisure days or you are in powerfully uh, busy days with a full calendar, how about we quietly just proceed on with what it is that we have to do. Sometimes this is the most powerful thing we can do, is just quietly proceed and let Him be the one who sets our clocks, our calendars, and He brings a fresh supply of love and energy and wisdom, all that is necessary for our entire life. Think on this today. Calmly, relax, and think about this. And be careful, my friends. Do not keep a census, because eventually what will happen is you'll be overly impressed with all that you are doing, and you probably will become privately self-indulgent to reward yourself for all your hard work. And there, my friends, lies great danger. So... I hope this has encouraged you today. I love you all. Talk to you soon. If you'd like information on how to book Nancy McCready for an event or speaking engagement, visit nancymccready.com.